Wednesday at the Sunday. But one of these Sundays, God is going to give you a prophetic invitation. And when God says where you are now is not where I want you to be for the rest of your life. And the only way that you can change that is you got to come to me. See, in other words, as Jesus looked at her, he says, I want to bless you, but I can't do it. Because there's too much distance between me and you. He says, the only way that I can bless you is I got to do something to change the proximity between me and you. Now, here's where I got a problem with Jesus. He knows this woman has been stuck for 18 years. So I'm thinking, Jesus, being the compassionate kind of God that you are, why is it that you just didn't go to her? You're son of living God. You know all things. You're omniscient. You're omnipotent. Why is it? Don't you think this lady has been through enough pain? Don't you think she's been through enough of people watching her and people looking at her? Don't you think she's been through enough of being ostracized? Don't you think she's been through enough of being outcast? Jesus, and I argued with the text and I argued with Jesus. I said, Jesus, why you just didn't go to her? He says, in order to get what I had for her, I needed to make sure that she got delivered from people. So in other words, instead of me going to her, I need to wait and see if she was willing to come to me. So because when I called her, I was calling her out as isolation, but I was calling her to me as invitation. See, what God is suggesting to us this Sunday morning, he's got your breakthrough, he's got your deliverance, but maybe he's waiting to see if you really truly delivered from people. Maybe he's waiting to see if you don't mind giving them praise, no matter no matter who's looking at you, no matter who's watching you. And I believe I ought to have somebody that will be willing to change the distance between you and God. There ought to be somebody that should be willing to give him a praise this Sunday morning and say, God, I'm willing to change the distance between us so I hear your invitation. He gives her a prophetic invitation. But here it is. Just like most folks in the 21st century, a lot of us miss our exit. Because we don't know what to do when Jesus gives us an invitation. Jesus says, behold, I stand at the door and I'm giving you an invitation. All you got to do is open the door. If any man open up, I'll come into him and I'll fellowship with him. I stand at the door and I knock. Jesus saw this woman and he called her invitation to him. Now, here's where the 21st church really miss out on our breakthrough. Whenever Jesus invites you, the invitation always comes with an RSVP. RSVP in French means responde, c'est vous play, which simply means please respond. See, the reason some of you have been stuck for the last 15 years is because you ain't RSVP yet. See, what happens is the church is just like your cousin Shaniqua that showed up at your wedding reception and showed out when they got to the reception and they wouldn't let Shaniqua in. And as the hostess explained to Shaniqua, I have a list here of everyone who RSVP and only the people who RSVP are allowed to get into this banquet well Shanika don't know what RSVP mean she ain't sent no RSVP back and nobody was expecting for her to show up can I tell you that's also what happens to the church because here it is God wants to give you the breakthrough that you desire every Sunday 